In this lab video, I'm going to show you how to run a difference of means test in SPSS. In SPSS, this test is called an independent samples t-test. As an example, I will be using the General Social Survey dataset GSS 2008. I will use religious attendance, attend3 as the dependent variable, and age as the independent variable. I will divide the data into two groups based on age. I will compare the mean religious attendance of respondents under 40 years old to the mean religious attendance of respondents over 40 years old. In order to run the independent samples t-test, you click Analyze Compare Means Independent Samples t-test. Put the dependent variable in the test variables box and the independent variable in the grouping variable box. In this case, a 10-3 was the dependent variable, so I moved that over to the test variables box. And age was the independent variable, so I moved that over to the grouping variable box. Next, you click Define Groups. Select Cut Point. The cut point allows you to divide the data into two groups based on a certain value of the independent variable. In this case, I will type in 40 because I want SPSS to create two groups, one for respondents under 40 years of age and one for respondents over 40 years of age. Then click Continue. Then click Options in the Confidence Interval Percentage Type 90. Click Continue, then click OK. The results of your analysis should be in the viewer window. The first table displays descriptive statistics for your dependent variable for each value of the independent variable. The second table displays the results of the difference of means test. The first thing you, ne you need to look at is the Levine's test for equality of variances. It tells you which row you should be looking at in this table. If the significance level is greater than 0.05, then you use the equal variances assumed row. If the significance level is less than 0.05, then you use the equal variances not assumed row. Since the sig value is less than 0.05, I will use the equal variances not assumed row. Next, the mean difference box tells you if there is a positive difference or negative difference in means. And the SIG two-tailed box tells you if the difference is significant. If the SIG value is less than 0.05, then the difference is significant at the 0.05 level. There is a difference in means. You reject the null hypothesis. Alternatively, if the SIG value is greater than 0.05, then the difference is not significant. You do not know if there is a difference in means. You cannot reject the null hypothesis.